So for the day session, we continue with partnership operations as to the distribution of profit or loss. For this particular session, we are to focus with the distribution of your profit or loss together with your salaries, interest, and bonus. Let's start first with the use of these three items as to profit distribution. So we start first with your salary allowances. So salary allowances is given to partners due to their time and effort, time and effort in running the partnership business. So salaries are allowed as a compensation as to the time devoted to the business. And take note, a salary is always annual or monthly. So what's the use of this particular annual or monthly? Because let's say, for example, you are only to uh, provide a distribution for five months, let's say. If the salary given is an annual salary, what will you do? The annual salary, you multiply by the months divided by 12. If that is a monthly salary given, then you get the monthly salary, you multiply it by the months, okay? So for your salary, again, the use of this particular profit distribution is for the company to provide compensation for the time devoted by the partners to the partnership business. So based on time and effort. And normally in profit distribution, salaries are provided either annually or monthly. Now, for example, you are to provide salary for five months. So let's say the operation of the business lasted only for five months. Therefore, you should only provide for a five-month period salary. If the given in the partnership agreement is an annual salary, then you just multiply the annual salary to the month over 12. But if the given is a monthly salary, just multiply the monthly salary to the number of months given. And take note, if there is a partnership agreement as to salary, it should always be distributed. It should always be distributed. Okay, that's for salary. Next, for interest. Normally, this interest is based on capital, based on capital. So, sir, what is the capital we're talking about here? That can either be your waso be. Meaning, it can be weighted average capital multiplied by the interest or simple average capital multiplied by the interest. Clear? Okay. So when we say interest, this is based on your capital. And when we talk about your capital, we're done with this. It can either be your wasobe. So for example, in the agreement, it provides you that capital interest is based on weighted average capital. So first, you get the weighted average capital, right? And then after getting the weighted average capital of each partner, you multiply the interest. Again, your interest here, generally, it is only annual. It is only annual. Unlike your salary, the partnership distribution as to agreement can either be annual or monthly. So you just need to know if ever the agreement provides for annual salary or a monthly salary. However, for interest, it is always annual. Therefore, to compute, it is your capital, whether it is wasobe, remember this one, and then you multiply it to the interest, you multiply it to the month over 12. Okay, what's the use of your month here? The month is used to determine the number of months of operation. Okay, so for example, the company operated for one year, therefore you can provide 12 over 12 interest. But if the company only worked for three months, then your interest is three over 12. Just take note that the interest is always annual. 
So interest is allowed because of the invested capital. And take note, capital based on wasobe. Based on wasobe. Okay? So how to compute the capital, either wasobe, you multiply it to your interest, multiplied by the months over 12. So for example, the problem will provide you the agreement is based on the weighted average capital. Uh, the interest is based on weighted average capital. You need to compute first on your weighted average capital. You multiply it on your interest. And if the problem will tell you the uh, interest is based on the beginning capital, just get the beginning capital. You multiply it to the percentage. If the problem will tell you that the interest is based on original capital. Get the original capital. You multiply it to your percentage. Okay. So what are these? The salary, interest, and bonus are inclusions on your agreement. These are inclusions on your agreement in case you first satisfy this before you, you will distribute the remainder. Okay. Next, bonus. So bonus is given as an incentive to your managing partner. This is an incentive to managing partner. Of course, if the operations is uh, positive, we can give a bonus to your managing partner. So it is usually a percentage of the profit. Usually a percentage of the profit. And take note of this, bonus can only be given if there is a remaining positive amount. Bonus can only be given if there is a remaining positive amount. Take note of this. So if there is a negative amount, if it is a negative amount, no bonus. If it is a negative amount, there will be no bonus. You can only give if there is a positive amount. You can only give if there is a positive amount. So uh, take note of this. Your salaries, interest, and bonus are included in the partnership agreement together with the distribution of the remainder. Okay, so how do we distribute this one? Salaries, interest, and bonus. If there is no hierarchy, distribute salaries, distribute interest, but bonus is based if there is a, if there is a positive amount. But if there is a hierarchy, follow the hierarchy. Sir, what do we mean by hierarchy? When we say hierarchy, there is a level as to the satisfaction of your uh, distribution of profit or loss. So for example, uh, starting with salaries, then interest, and then bonus. Okay. So if ever the problem tells you that way, it means that you must first satisfy the salaries before going to interest, before going to bonus. But if there is no hierarchy or there is no order of priority, so this talks about order of priority. Huh? So if there is no order of priority, what is the rule? If there is no order of priority, our rule is you provide salaries, you provide interest, and your bonus is dependent if there is a positive amount. Clear? But if there is a hierarchy, you follow the hierarchy, order of priority. Clear? Okay. So uh, let's have an example together with your bonus. So there are too many computations of your bonus. It can be bonus before salaries, interest, and bonus. It can be bonus 
before salaries and interest, but after bonus. So before salaries and interest, after bonus. Okay? Pwede ganyan. Pwede rin namang uh, bonus is based after salaries and interest. So after naman si salaries and interest, but before bonus. Pwede rin namang bonus is computed based on after salaries, interest, and bonus. So pagka ganito, you just need to make a formula. So for example, bonus is equal to net income before salaries, interest, and bonus. So bonus is equal to your net income multiplied by your percentage. Because we said that your bonus is usually a percentage of the profit. Before salaries and interest after bonus. So meaning, your bonus is equal to your net income after bonus daw. So that one multiplied by percentage. Bonus after salaries, interest, but before bonus. So bonus is equal to your net income. You remove the salaries, you remove the interest. Then you multiply it to the percentage. Then you need to multiply it to the percentage. How about a bonus after salaries, interest, and bonus? So bonus is equal to your net income, less salaries, less interest, less bonus, multiplied by your percentage. Okay? So you just need to make a formula and then compute for the value of your bonus. Ganun lang naman siya. Okay? So there's no problem. Whatever is the combination, you just follow. So when we say after, you need to deduct it to net income. So look at this. Here, before salaries, interest, and bonus, there is no after. There is no after. Therefore, you will not deduct anything to the net income. Clear? Okay. Again, if there is a word after in the provision for bonus, you need to deduct it to the net income to get for the bonus. Now, before salaries, interest, and bonus, there is no after. So look into our formula. It is only net income multiplied by percentage. Here, on our next item, before salaries, interest, but after bonus. So there is now an after. What is after? Bonus. Take note, if there is an after, you need to deduct it to the net income. Therefore, in our formula to compute for your bonus, it is equal to your net income less bonus. We deduct bonus to your net income. Next, after salaries, interest, but before bonus. What is after here? Salaries and interest. We say that anything that is after must be deducted to your net income in computation for your bonus. Therefore, in our formula, net income less salaries and in less interest before we multiply it to the percentage. Before we multiply it to your percentage. And then... Lastly, we have your after salaries, interest, and bonus. So in your net income, we deduct salaries, we deduct interest, and your bonus because we say anything that tells you in the provision of your bonus and provides for after should be deducted on the computation. You deduct it to your net income before multiplying it to your percentage. So if the problem tells you after salaries, interest, and bonus, so compute for bonus, you have your net income. Since it is after salaries, you deduct salaries. After interest, you deduct interest. After bonus, you deduct bonus. Are we clear? Okay. So let's have an example first of a no hierarchy application of your salaries, interest, and bonus. Take note of this, guys. Huh? Your salaries and interest and bonus are included in the partnership agreement, as we said a while back. Okay, so it is included in the partnership agreement together with the distribution of the remainder. Now, if the partnership agreement provides for no hierarchy, then salaries and interest will always be distributed. But bonus is dependent if there is a positive amount. Therefore, if that is a negative amount, if that is a negative amount, then what do we do? We will not provide bonus. Okay, 
So only if there is a positive amount. Now, what if there is a hierarchy? There is a hierarchy. We follow the hierarchy based on the order of priority. Based on the order of priority. Okay? Later, we will discuss this one. We start first with no hierarchy or no order of priority. So distribution of salaries, interest, and bonus with no order of priority or no hierarchy. So let's have an example. So A and B are partners with the following agreement. Number one, salaries for A and B respectively is 50,000 and 80,000. Let's say the interest is already given. Interest on capital for A Let's say uh, 120,000. And for B, let's say uh, 70,000. Bonus to A is equal to 10%. And then any remainder equally. Okay, A and B are partners with the following agreement. So salaries for A and B respectively is 50,000 and 80,000. Interest and capital of A is 120 for B 70,000. Bonus to A is 10%. Any remainder will be equally. Any remainder will be equally. Now, uh, take note, I told you, this salaries, interest, and bonus can be placed on your partnership agreement and the remainder will be distributed depending on the agreement. So here we have here an agreement which includes now salaries, interest, and bonus together with the distribution of the remainder. Now, since there is no order of priority, what is the rule? If there is no order of priority, what is the rule? Salaries should be always given, interest should always be given, but bonus is dependent if there is a remaining positive amount if there is a remaining positive amount. So we have this example. So assuming a profit of 350,000. Assuming a profit of 350,000 pesos. So let's compute. Assuming our bonus so compute for the profit distribution, assuming bonus is based on net income before salaries, interest, and bonus. Next, bonus is based on net income after salaries and interest, but before bonus. Third, bonus is based on net income after bonus, but before salaries and interest. Fourth, bonus is based on net income after salaries, interest, and bonus. Okay. Palitan natin yung profit. 300,000 na lang. Okay. So A and B are partners with the following agreement. So first, we compute for a bonus. So assumption one. Pwede ko bang paliitin yung problem para magkasya?
Sorry. Wait lang, guys. Using ko lang to. Okay. Ayan yung problem natin. So, assumption 1. So, bonus is based on net income before salaries and interest and bonus. Okay. So, how do we compute for the bonus in this way? So, bonus is equal to your net income multiplied by your percentage because everything is before. So, to compute for your bonus, bonus is equal to how much is our net income? Our profit is 300,000. 300,000. You multiply it to the percentage. What is the percentage of bonus? 10%. So multiply to 10%. What is the bonus? Bonus is equal to 30,000 pesos. And that bonus is given only to A. Okay. So what is the rule? Since there is no hierarchy, you need to provide everything. If, since there is no hierarchy, you need to provide everything. So we provide everything. So A So on the first one, bonus is based on net income before salaries, interest and bonus. Now, here to compute for your bonus since everything is before, bonus is equal to your net income multiplied by your percentage. So bonus is equal to the profit of 300,000 multiplied by 10%. Bonus is 30,000. Now, since in our example, we say that we do not need to uh, compute for the hierarchy, since there's no hierarchy, we need to provide everything. So salaries, salaries, interest, and bonus. And then we have your remainder. So how much is the salaries for A and B? So we have your salaries amounting to 50,000 and 80,000. So A is 50, B is 80, this is 130. Next, interest. So for interest, we have computed it. A, 120, B, 70. So A will be given 120,000. B is given 70,000, total of 190,000. And then bonus is given to A, which is already computed at 30,000. So how much is the total of this one? 130 plus 90, 320 plus 30, we have 350,000 pesos. We have 350,000 pesos. And how much is our profit? 300,000. So what is the remainder? Positive, negative. We have a negative remainder. Negative remainder amounting to 50,000 pesos. So how do we share this negative remain remainder? Sabi dito, any remainder, any remainder should be distributed equally. So we will distribute that equally. So 50,000 divided by 2 is 25,000. Okay, so after we distribute that, then we can already compute for the amount of profit distribution. So compute for the profit distribution, yun yung tanong, di ba? So how much is the profit distribution to A? The total profit distribution to A is 175,000. To B, 125,000, total of 300,000 pesos. Ayan. Okay. So here, we're not only uh, computing for bonus, but we already incorporated how to compute for your profit distribution. So here, again, we do not have any hierarchy. We do not have any hierarchy. Then you can just distribute everything. You can just distribute everything. So even if the remainder will become negative soon, you can still distribute it, clear? If there is no hierarchy, if there is no hierarchy or no or no order of priority or no order of priority, so that is for number one assumption. So that is assumption number one. If the bonus is based on net income before salaries, interest, and bonus.
let's proceed to assumption number two. So under assumption number two, bonus is based on net income after salaries and interest but before bonus. Okay. So first, of course, we need to compute for the bonus. Sabi dito, bonus is equal to your net income after salaries and interest but before bonus. Okay. So our formula is net income less salaries less interest you multiply it to the percentage. So bonus is equal to your net income less salaries less interest multiplied by percentage. So how much is our net income again? 300,000. How much is our salary? So we have here 50 and 80. So let's 50 and 80, what's the total of this item? 130,000. So less 130,000. Less interest. What's the total of this item? We have 190,000. Multiplied by 10%. So let's compute. So bonus is equal to 300 less 130, 170. Less 190, negative 20,000 times 10%. Take note, this is negative. Since it is negative, what is the bonus? No bonus. Take note, we said bonus can only be distributed if there is a positive amount remaining. Positive amount remaining. So in this case, we have a negative amount. Negative amount. Since it is negative, there will be no bonus. Take note, huh? you need to look if there is a positive amount. What's the difference of this example to the other example? So in our first example, we still have a positive amount. It's still 300,000. Now here, we have a negative amount, which is 20,000 pesos. Okay? So since it is negative, no bonus. Okay? That's the application of the rule a while back that you can distribute everything except for bonus in case the bonus has a negative amount. So we can now distribute then. So we distribute, we have your A and B total. So salaries, interest, bonus, remainder. So for A, how much is the salary of A? 50,000. For B, 80,000. Total of 130,000. For interest, for A, we have 120,000. For B, 70,000, total of 190,000. Bonus, do we have a bonus to A? Your answer is zero. Take note of our uh, colors. Uh, for salary, we place yellow. For interest, we place this green. For bonus, we have this orange or pink. And then we have blue for the remainder, blue or green, I don't know. Okay, now we compute for the remainder. So how much of this already? We have 320,000, right? And how much should we only distribute? 300,000. So we have here negative 20,000 remainder. How do we distribute remainder? We distribute it equally. So 20,000 equally for A, 10,000 negative. For B, 10,000 negative. So how much is the profit distribution? So for A, 50 plus 120, 170, less 10,000, 160,000. For B, 80 plus 70, 150, less 10, 140,000. This must give us a total of 300,000. Okay? And Thus, for our second assumption, where bonus is based on net income after salaries, interest, but before bonus. So, we are already answering this item, number two. Bonus is based on net income after salaries, but before bonus. Okay? Thus, for problem two. Let's proceed to number three. 
bonus is based on net income after bonus but before salaries and interest. Okay, number three. Okay, so we are answering this item, number three. Bonus is based on net income after bonus but before salaries and interest. Bonus is based on net income after bonus but before salaries and interest. Okay? So let's make a formula. Bonus is equal to your net income after bonus but before salaries and interest. So the only after here is bonus. So we will only deduct the bonus. So net income less bonus multiplied by percentage. So bonus is equal to your net income, 300,000, less your bonus times 10%. So what we do here is we distribute the value of 10% into the uh, parentheses. So we have here bonus is equal to 30,000 less 10% B. Okay, so 300,000 times 10%. B times 10% is 10% B. So we combine like items. So we have your bonus plus 10% bonus is equal to 30,000. So the bonus here is, of course, a 100% bonus. And that's considered 1B. 1B plus 0.10B will give us 110% bonus is equal to 30,000 divided by 110 divided by 110%. Bonus is equal to 30,000 divided by 110, 30,000 divided by 110. So we will get 27,272.73, 27,272.73. Now, after computing the bonus, we can already provide for the profit distribution. So we have your A, we have your B, we have your salaries, we have your interest, we have your bonus, we have your remainder, and then finally your profit distribution. Okay, so we will just color it. Okay, so how much is our salary? For A, we have 50,000 pesos. For B, we have 80,000 pesos, total of 130,000. For interest, for A, we have 120,000 pesos. For B, we have 70,000 pesos, total of 190,000 pesos. Bonus to A, we have already computed it, 27,272.73. So how much is the remainder? So we totaled that one. So 320,000 plus 27,272.73 will give us 347,272.73. Versus 300,000, we have a negative remainder amounting to negative 47,272.73. 47 73 okay so we we get the equal amount here so we have 47,272.73 divided by 2 we have 23,636.73 Okay, so this will provide us 300,000 pesos. So let's compute for the balance of the two items. Okay. So 50,000, we have 120,000, we have 80,000, we have 70,000. Okay. Any compute?
So we have 173,636.36. For A, for B, we have 126,363.64. So that's our profit distribution for this particular item number three. So this item number three is known as your bonus is based on net income after bonus, but before salaries and interest. Okay, so here uh, you just need to follow again the formula for bonus and after computing the bonus, since there's no hierarchy, you distribute everything, even if at the end the remainder is negative. Okay? This for A and B. Next, we have here your item number four. Item number four. Okay. Wait, guys. Okay, so item number four that is bonus is based on net income after salaries, interest, and bonus. Bonus is based, based on net income after salaries, interest, and bonus. Salaries, interest, and bonus, okay? So we have here net income is, ah, net income, uh, bonus is equal to net income, less salaries, less interest, less bonus, multiplied by your percentage. So how much is our net income again? 300,000. How much is our salaries? Total of this one is 130,000. How much is our interest? Total of this one is 190. Less bonus multiplied by the percentage. So bonus is equal to negative 20,000 less bonus multiplied by the percentage. Since it is already negative, again, what is the effect? There will be no bonus. Since it is already negative, there will be no bonus. Okay, since we're done computing with the bonus, then we can already distribute the profit. So in our profit, we have here A and B, the total. So first, we distribute salaries, and then we go with interest, then we go with your bonus, then remainder, and the profit distribution. So salaries for A and B is 50,000 and 80,000 respectively, so 130,000. Interest for A is 120,000, for B 70,000, 190,000. There's no bonus because it is negative, so this is zero. So this will give us a total of 320. Our profit is only 300,000, so we have here negative 20,000 pesos. Share it equally 10,000, 10,000. So for A, we have 50 plus 120 less 10, 160,000. For B, we have 140,000. And total is 300,000. Okay? And Sir, let's assume amount. Assuming hindi yan 300. So assuming net income is 400,000. Assuming our net income is 400,000, let's compute for the bonus. Para lang alam ninyo kung paano siya computing in case positive naman siya. So bonus is equal to your net income, less salaries, less interest, less bonus, multiplied by percentage. So since ina-assume natin na 400, to ang salaries natin is 130, ang bonus natin is, uh, ang interest natin 190, bonus is unknown, multiplied by the percentage. So bonus is equal to 400 less 320, 80,000. Less bonus multiplied by the 10% percentage. Okay? Then we distribute the values. So this will give us bonus is equal to 8,000 
less 10% B. Then we combine like items. So we have 100% bonus plus 10% bonus will give us 8,000 divided by 110% divided by 110%. So our bonus is equal to 8,000 divided by 1.1. So we have 7,272.72. Okay? So in case lang na positive naman siya, ganyan siya compute in. Bonus is equal to 7,272.72. Okay? Just an example in case 400 yan. And then gawin mo, maglagay ka na dito, ganun yan. Okay? Pagka positive yan, edi may laman yung bonus. Pag negative, edi zero yung bonus. Okay? Just an example in case there is a positive remainder following the formula. Now, we're done with your salaries, interest, and bonus considering there's no hierarchy. Considering there's no hierarchy. So what if there is a hierarchy? What if there is a hierarchy? So again, we have a order of priority. So satisfy only up to the order of priority. So let's space our example. So we have here A and B, our partners for uh, with the following agreement. Salaries for A and B respectively, we have 50,000 and 80,000. Interest is 120 and 70. Bonus is 10%. Any remainder is distributed equally. Okay. So assuming the profit is 200,000. Assuming the profit is 200,000. There is an order of priority. Salary, salaries first, then interest, then bonus, then remainder. Another, there is an order of priority. Interest first, then salaries, then bonus, then remainder. Okay? So, here we have an order of priority. Anong sabi natin pagka may order of priority? You satisfy only up to the order of priority. So, we have 200,000 pesos, right? So, profit distribution. Sorry. So, let's proceed with the first one. Profit distribution to A and B total. Okay. So, for the first one, our priority is salary. How much is our salary for A, 50, for B, 80? This will give us 130,000, tama? And then we have interest. That's our next priority. How much is our profit? 200,000 lang, tama? So dapat yung next priority mo, enough lang for 200,000. So dapat 70,000 lang yan. Nasundan? Okay. Kasi kailangan lang natin satisfy up to the order of priority. Nasatisfy natin yung salary. Okay. Next, kailangan natin masatisfy yung interest. Magkano yung interest? 190,000 yan. 120 plus 70 is 190. However, how much is the amount of our total remainder? We only have a 70,000 remainder. Therefore, can we still proceed and distribute 120 and 70? Not anymore. So sir, how do we distribute it? You make a, a ratio. So what do we do? We have 120 over 190 multiplied by 70,000. Then we have 70 over 190 multiplied by 70,000. Okay? Thus, if ever there is a priority. Again, satisfy natin salary kasi pasok pa yan dun sa 200. Yung interest, magkano yung interest natin? 190. Magkano na lang ba natira? 70,000. So hanggang 70,000 na lang pala yung pwede mong i-distribute. Okay? 
remember, sabi natin kanina, if there is an order of priority, you follow the priority. You just don't distribute everything. Unlike if there's no order of priority. Remember, if there's no hierarchy, what is the rule? Inter salaries, interest, distribute. Bonus, depending if there is a positive amount. Remainder, always meron din yan. But if there is a hierarchy, follow the hierarchy. So here in our hierarchy, we start first with salaries daw. Okay, distribute. Pasok pa kasi. Interest. Pasok pa ba siya? 190,000 yan. Pero, ang natitira na lang na pera natin is 70,000. So, hindi natin pwedeng distribute lahat ng interest. So, to distribute the 70,000 remaining, we make use of a ratio out of their interest. So, for A, we have 120 over 190. For B, we have 70 over 190. So, let's compute. 120... 120 over 190 multiplied by 70,000 will provide us 44,210.53. Next, we have 70 over 190 multiplied by 70,000. We have 25,789.53. So that's how we will distribute the 200,000 up to the satisfaction of the order of priority only. So for A, we have 94,210.53. For B, we have 105,789.47. Okay. Next, for number two, there is an order of priority starting first with interest, then we go with salaries. Then we go with bonus and we go with remainder. So A and B total. So first with interest. How much is the interest of A? 120. For B, 70. This will give us a total of 190. We only have 200,000. What is the remainder? 10,000. Ano yung susunod natin? Salary. Magkano yung salary natin? 50 plus 80 is 130,000. Pasok ba yan? No, hindi na naman siya pasok. So, kung magkano na lang natira, yun na lang yung didistribute natin. So, we have here 50 over 130 multiplied by 10,000 for A. For B, we have 80,000. So, 80 over 130 multiplied by 10,000. Then, we get now their distribution. So, for A, we have 50 over 130 multiplied by 10,000. We have here 3,400. Uh, 3,846.15. For B, we have 6,153.85. So the total for A, we have 123,846.15. For B, we have 76,153.85. Okay? So that's how we compute for with hierarchy. Okay. So remember of this, guys, that in case there is a hierarchy, you need to satisfy only up to the order of priority. Only up to the order of priority. If in case, hindi siya pasok sa order of priority, huwag na natin ipilit. So dito kasi, hanggang interest lang siya. Kulang pa nga. So hanggang interest lang tayo. Gagawa tayo ng ratio. Dito naman sa pangalawa, hanggang salaries lang tayo. Gagawa ulit tayo ng ratio. Remember, you will only distribute up to the extent, up to the extent, the profit can cover the priority. The profit can cover the priority. So, you can only distribute up to the extent the profit can cover the priority. If ever the profit can no longer cover the priority, then can no longer, then you distribute it using a ratio. You distribute it using the ratio. Ito yung mga ratios natin kanina. Okay? So, just a quick recap. Salaries, interest, and bonus. We include it together with your uh, distribution of your remainder. Now, we look whether 
there is order of priority or no order of priority. In short, if there's an order of priority, there is a hierarchy as to the distribution. No order of priority, there is no hierarchy. So as the salary is interest and bonus, you can only distribute in the order of priority. You can only distribute up to the extent the profit can cover it. And if there is no order of priority, salaries, interest, bonus, and then remainder. Salaries always, interest always, remainder always, bonus, depending if there is a positive amount. If there's no positive amount, you will not distribute a bonus. Okay? So yan lang naman yung rule dito sa salaries, interest, and bonus. If you can get this, and you can already compute for the bonus by making your own formula, knowing that if there is an after, doon nyo i-dededuct yun. Pag walang after, huwag kang mag-deduct. Pag before lahat, wala kang i-deduct. Pag may after, doon ka lang mag-deduct. Okay? So order of priority, no order of priority in case of salaries, interest, and bonus. Sometimes, for profit sharing, for profit sharing, some problems ask for indifference point. So what is this indifference point? There are two profit sharing agreement. Get the amount of profit where the uh, amount of distribution will be equal or indifferent. So in your indifference point profit sharing, there are two profit sharing agreement. So normally problems to, magbibigay sila ng dalawang profit sharing agreement. You get the amount of profit where the amount of distribution will be equal or indifferent. So ibig sabihin, i-equalize mo, let's say this is profit sharing 1, profit sharing 2. Ano yung point na mag equal sila ng sharing? Kaya ganyan siya. Okay? Profit sharing 1 is equal to profit sharing 2. Ganun. Tapos, you need to compute for the amount that is indifferent siya. That is indifferent siya. Okay? So, uh, for example, for a profit sharing 1, uh, you compute for the amount of the amount of net income. You compute for the amount of net income that in profit sharing 1, you will receive 30,000 in profit sharing 2, you will receive uh, 2,000 plus 10% of net income. So, kumbaga, ang kulang dito ay net income. So, in profit sharing 1, you will receive 30,000. In profit sharing 2, you will receive 2,000 pesos plus 10% net income. So, you need to compute for the amount of distribution in which it is equal or indifferent. So, ito yung unang distribution, ito yung pangalawang distribution, magiging equal siya or indifferent. So, what do you need to get this one? The amount of profit down. So, ang unknown dito ay net income. So, kung gagamitin natin yan as formula, it is 30,000 is equal to 2,000 plus 10% net income. So, combine like items. So, we have 30,000 less 2,000 is equal to 10% net income. So we have here 28,000 is equal to 10% net income. To compute for the value of net income, so you divide that to 10%. Net income is equal to 28,000 divided by 10%. So 28,000 divided by 10% will provide us 280,000. 280,000. So let's check. So profit sharing one, 30,000 daw yung makukuha. Profit sharing 2, it is 2,000 plus 10% of the net income. How much is the net income that we computed? 280,000. So 10% of 280,000 plus 2,000. So let's check. So 30,000 is equal to 2,000 plus 28,000. Is it equal to 30,000? Yes. 
So is it now indifferent? Yes. So we just need to get for the amount of profit na equal or indifferent yung distribution. So ano yon? 280,000 yon. Yun yung net income na indifferent si profit sharing 1 at saka si profit sharing 2. At net income of 280,000, pareho lang na 30,000 yung mare-receive niya. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng indifference point. Okay? So in case na nagtatanong yung problem ng indifference point, gawa lang kayo ng dalawang formula. So we have your formula 1, you should equalize it to your formula 2. Then you compute for the net income. Katulad ng ginawa natin dito, merong unang profit sharing, meron yung pangalawang profit sharing, pinagsama natin siya. So we have this one formula until we derive the net income or the amount of profit that the profit distribution is equal. Ayan, 30K dito, tapos 30K din doon. That's your indifference point. Okay? So, that's all for uh, partnership operations. That's all for partnership operations. So, we covered everything from your distribution, uh, how to uh, distribute your salaries, interest, and bonus, and what if there is an indifference point.